one of us, even though we've been delivered and we're a little better off than what we are, what we used to be, we still need to hear word. We still need a preacher. We still need a pastor. We still need a cover. Every one of us need to be a part of somebody's church. That's why it's the job of the preacher. When you come and get tore up from the floor, I got a smile for you. Amen. I got an encouraging word for you. I got some scripture for you. Once we get delivered from a thing, then we figure everything is all right. Yeah. How many of you pray? Amen. Every one of us pray. Amen. Amen. Then it says that they, it says that they start giving sacrifices again. They start giving their money. Oh. How many of you give your money? Amen. 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 Give up your take. That's not enough. We give our money, we pray, and we have a foundation. We hear the word on Sunday. Some of us come to prayer and Bible study. Some of us have a personal relationship. But it's just a foundation. In other words, he tells that guy, he said, tell the people, he said, that's a good start. Tell your neighbor, that's a good start. God said, just because you're hanging around holy people, just because you're taking holy communion, just because you go to a church where they practice living holy, is not going to make you holy. In order to be holy, he said, be ye holy. Yeah. Live holy. Oh, yeah. Amen? Amen? Hey, he says, uh, to, uh, sanctify yourself. Separate yourself. Yeah. In other words, you got to come out from amongst those unclean things. But God said, we got to get rid of the unclean things. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. So this is what I come to tell you. Just because you get delivered today, just because you sing on the choir, just because they call on you occasionally to read the scripture don't make you right. It's amazing how we can live dirty for 17, 18 years and expect the whole process to be reversed after one time of coming to church. But how many of you know you got to go to the potter's house daily? You got to be willing to get on the wheel daily. You got to be willing to say, God, it's me, man. Mold me, make me into the man of God that you would have. God, take out those unclean things, those unpure things, those things that are not of you. God, take this nasty attitude away from me. God, take this, this soft skin away from me. It's his will that you get your act together. It's, it's his will that you clean up your act. Let me tell you, you said, why are you talking like this? Because I said the third message was that God was going to bless you. But this is the problem. We can't sp skip, skip over. We can't skip over the conditions to get to the blessings. Amen. Everybody want to hear what God going to do for you. But how many of you know that there's some terms in agreement? He said, look, he said, in order for me to bless you, you got to do some things. You got to change some things. You know, I listen to people all week long, and they, they call and they tell me about this situation, and I'm saying, what's change? What's change? What's change? And, and, and see, that's the thing. He said, hey, guy, he said, he said, be merry. Be joyous. Smile at the people. Give them the word. He said, because in order for them to be blessed, this is what they have to do. Amen. Amen. Come on, I'm trying to make it easy for some of us. Some of us have been delivered, but we don't stop working. Amen. We don't stop working on the things that we need to work on. Amen. 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 God not gonna override your will. If you want to be stuck right here, yeah. this is where you're gonna stay. Some of us say, I want to grow spiritually. I want to get a better understanding. I want to have revelation and knowledge of the work. God said, You're not reading over here. You're not studying. You're not seeking my face. Amen? Amen. The blessings are there. But we got to do what's necessary to get the blessings. Amen.